<sighs> Good morning. It is October 15th. Uh, it's Sunday and we are in Basel, Switzerland. We came here because today we get on a Viking cruise um, on the Rhine River and we're going to be going from Basel, Switzerland down the Rhine all the way to Amsterdam as our final destination. So I brought my camera because I wanted to film the whole thing of course. Um, I want to film it for memory purposes. Um, also to be able to show family back home little clips of what we did. And then I think because we're doing the Viking cruise it might be cool to just, I don't know, be another perspective of how that goes. Aside from the dozens of other ones we know on YouTube. I didn't look at any on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, um, before we get this day going, I figured we could recap what's happened just getting here because this is, it's been a lot. Mm, we're both still very tired. Yeah. Last night we had a hotel booked in Basel, which is where we are now. And then today is the day we get on the ship. So we'll be on the ship for like the next seven nights. But anyways, our plan was on Friday, we had a flight at 4.45 p.m. New York time. The plan was to fly straight to Amsterdam and then we would have another flight from Amsterdam to Basel and we would get to Basel Saturday morning yesterday at like 9.15, 9.30. Yeah, early in the morning. But on our first flight from JFK to Amsterdam, there was like a medical emergency going on. We weren't really informed about what was actually happening. We just saw flight attendants like running up and down the aisle carrying things. And then the announcer kept saying like, stay in your seat, we have an emergency. And they were like, if there's any medical personnel, please identify yourself. I was in the bathroom when they announced that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, 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 if there's a doctor on the, on, the, on the plane, please present your, bring yourself forward or something. When you came out, I was like, did you hear that? <laughs> Oh, it's not funny. It's but. not funny. I was just going to say, we probably shouldn't be laughing. It's funny when you're in the bathroom and you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, we find out, like, we were really close to Amsterdam. We were probably within, like, an hour. 40 minutes or less. Yeah. Yep. And they were like, we're going to have an emergency landing in London Heathrow because this person, person needs medical attention. So all of us were like, everyone on the plane was cool about it. We were like, okay, perfectly understandable, like... Do what you gotta do. So we land in London and it's what, like 4 a.m. local time? Around 4 a.m. So 4 a.m. local time, medics come on board, fire personnel come on board, there's like ambulances outside the plane. Um, and then they ended up being on the plane for like two hours, right? Uh, yeah, they kept us somewhere way in the back of the airport. It wasn't at a at a terminal. Yeah, we weren't at a gate. We were just on the ground. At somewhere, the yeah, like just somewhere. And it was, it was a about two, two to two and a half hours before they got the person into the back of the ambulance, which we saw them in the back, or at least I don't yeah, know, from I the did. window, yeah, 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 we could see it. So that took a while, but we were everyone on the plane was cool about it. We were all just kind of sitting on our seats. We were all tired. I think a lot of people were even trying to sleep because it's the middle of the night. Um, but then after the two and a half hours, they let us know like, hey, we can't like just continue on on this plane. Um, I think a lot of it had to do with like the pilots can only fly for so long, so their shift was up, and then the flight attendants were telling us that because they use so many of the oxygen tanks and medical supplies that like Delta is very particular about safety and therefore um, without restocking all that we can't just continue on to our next destination. So then they got buses. <laughs> so we all had to <laughs> offload the plane into one bus at a time which yeah. took what four or five buses worth of people. We didn't get this because we were in the back of the plane we were like 47 throw. 47 out of maybe like 60 or something. Mm -hmm. I think there was like a total of 280 people on the plane, we'd say. I, I think that's what the, the little screen said. It said max capacity was 281. All right. So then they unload all 280 of us onto these singular buses and we drive for a while through tunnels and stuff and then we get to the airport and then they let us know we have to go through security again. So we are putting all our bags back up on the thing, you know, all our liquids are going into bags, this and that. And then we get through security. Um, we sit there for three more hours. Yeah, luckily at some point they gave, oh no, we had to go to the Delta counter and the counter line was insane because there's 280 people waiting in line. Every single person <laughs> has to go to the counter. Right. And then their system goes down. <laughs> so I, I put my suitcase on the ground, just sat on it because I was like, well, the line's not moving because the system's down. <laughs> So system's down for a while, eventually they're like, all right, whatever, we're not gonna get you new boarding passes. We're just gonna reprint you the old ones that you had from JFK to Amsterdam. So they reprint the exact same tickets that all of us already have. They give us 12 <laughs> pounds a piece for- Like a voucher. Restaurants inside the- Yeah, to buy food and drinks. So yeah. we go into, once we get our voucher, we go in, Scott got um, like a full English breakfast from a restaurant and a nice black tea. Mm. And 
then I didn't eat because I was thinking I'm not really hungry right now. My body thinks it's the middle of the night. Um, we're gonna get back on a plane. We're gonna get on a plane and then we're gonna go to Amsterdam and it's gonna be fine. We're still gonna get there in the morning. So now we're six hours and they have us start loading back up onto the plane. And also because our boarding passes are not from London to Amsterdam, they're still from JFK to Amsterdam, they need to like hand verify everything and look at each ticket, look at each passport. It's taking a really long time per person so it took forever to load the plane. Also before even loading the plane they had to scrap together a crew of pilots and like flight attendants so when the pilots are walking by everyone started cheering and clapping and we're like yes so we get on the plane and at this point literally everyone including us is exhausted so we almost immediately pass out like we're sitting on the plane like we haven't even moved yeah this was what what time around 11 30 it was 11 when we like yeah 11 11 30 by the time we got on the plane and and then we were supposed to take off at 10 55 was the plan to take off right but then i woke up like an hour later and we were still sitting on this plane and nothing had moved and i was like what's going on yeah and then next thing you know, they're announcing like, hey guys, there's been an issue with the boarding passes. We're going to have to take everyone off the plane and we're going to have to get you new boarding passes. Everyone starts freaking out. The whole flight is very upset. Anyways, we were on this plane. We're sitting there. Everyone's upset. Eventually they're like, okay, no jokes on us. We are not getting you off the plane, but we still need to like manually verify something. I don't even know. I just, several hours continued to pass. We're all just sitting there and every once in a while it was like a joke. They kept announcing like, hey, here's an update. Um, we still don't have any information, but uh, thanks for your patience and then they would hang up and the whole plane would laugh you're like oh that's a great update like so we were sitting there for so many hours um eventually our 12 30 they said uh we're going to be leaving shortly <laughs> yeah but then or, or maybe it was a little bit before that they said we're going to be leaving shortly but then then they get back on the radio and said we were waiting too long <laughs> And they didn't want to inconvenience a flight that was on time. Which makes sense. So they took our pushback crew away from us (laughs) to to make sure that they were not delayed. So we waited a while just to get pushed out and actually get going. So we had a pushback of 12.55. We, we, I guess, took off by about 1.15-ish. Okay. Yeah. The point is, like, everyone basically missed. If you had a connecting flight once you got to Amsterdam, everyone missed it. And I was panicking because I was on the phone with Delta on the plane when we were thinking we had to unload and reboard. I was like, what's going on? We have another connecting flight. And the guy on the phone was like, yeah, I see that all of our remaining flights for the day are booked, so we're going to book you for tomorrow. And that was really frustrating because I was like, we have a hotel for this night. Like we planned to be there the whole day so we could enjoy the city, this and that. But then they were taking off. So I kind of just had to hang up the phone and be like, all right, you, you sounds like you can't help me. I'm, the plane's taking off. I'll see when we get there. So we got to, we got to Amsterdam around 3.30. Time is a blur because of the time zone changes yeah. and just barely sleeping and just napping here and there. Oh, man. We get there and basically we get off the plane and literally sprint to the um, transfer desk because I'm thinking there's 280 people on this plane. There's probably a good percentage of them that miss their connection. Like a lot of people are going to be going to this desk. So I was like, I need to get there before everyone. Also, we were in the back of the plane. So I was like, we're already at a disadvantage. So like I was literally sprinting through the airport with my luggage (laughs) and the lady at the desk apparently Dutch people are a little blunt and I did not know that and I took it to mean she was being mean to me so I started (laughs) hysterically crying so Scott had to handle that and then we check in on this little kiosk they give us a ticket and then we have to go sit and wait for our ticket number to be called that took forever maybe like a half hour or something and then we go up to the desk and explain what's going on and thankfully they were able to get us on like a flight through a different airline that's a partner for it was supposed to leave at what, like? 820. Yeah, 820. 820 to get From to, Amsterdam to Basel. And it would get to Basel at 915. Yeah, so we'd still get there the same day we planned, just like not the same time. And we could still use our hotel. So that would be a 12 hours difference from when we originally had planned to get here and yeah. have time to see the city and use passes and stuff to go see yeah, the museums. museums. Oh, they gave us another food voucher, which was nice. So we got like 14, 14 euro piece. Euros, yeah. Yeah. So a little bit better than the, uh, the 12, British were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got some food. We got, um, we took some naps on like these chairs that they had, um, which was nice. They that, had, yeah. They had comfy seating. Well, you took a nap. I was awake. Really? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Anyways, eventually we had to go through another like layer of passport checking, like customs. Um, and then we got to our gate and then the plane that was coming in 
um, that we were supposed to be getting onto was delayed, so that got pushed back like a half hour or something. Nothing crazy, but still. The night just kept going, and eventually we get on the plane, and you know, that was fine. We were in like the emergency exit row, so he was like, are you capable to help? I was like, yeah, we can help, but I haven't slept, so. <laughs> Nobody cared. It was, it was a very, very loose. Yeah, loose. Yeah, the guy was, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. chilling. He was, he was getting hit on by the two ladies across from us and they were talking about massaging each other. So. Yes, they were. They were talking about massaging each other and the lady had her hands like on his jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was, she was weird. It was very, very strange, but... And then when he left, I said to Scott, I was like, I wasn't offered anything. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we eventually, we landed in Basel. We took a taxi to our hotel. So it was like, we probably got here like 11 something last night, local time. Uh... Yeah, I think it was 11.30 by the time we got here. Um, we got a good night's sleep, as good as we could with the amount of time that we had. Um, and then this morning we got up and we did the hotel buffet that they had. Um, it was an additional charge, but it was worth it, I think, to not have to go out and find food. So, yeah, they had a lot of good options. We had a little coffee, some tea. Um, fresh breads. A lot Pastries. of fresh breads. Yeah, breads and croissants and stuff. Have at it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's soft boiled. I gotta put it back together. Humpty Dumpty showed up here. <laughs> so now it is 1121 and we're gonna get ready to leave the hotel. We're gonna go, I think straight to the dock where our cruise is at. Um, Cause they told us at 11 is when they have like some welcome buffet. Um, we can drop off our suitcases if we want and go back out and explore. And we have to be checked out of this hotel by 12, so that's the plan. I just wanted to catch the video up because if I start recording things today, I want it to be in chronological order. It makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and as it is, we couldn't do anything yesterday. No, oh, God, no, it's awful. That's all. <laughs> uh, you ready? I guess so. Let's get going. This is today's outfit of the day. I only brought two shoes for this trip. One of them is this pair, um, Dr. Scholl's. Apparently they were highly recommended. And this is, <laughs> why do you always make those faces? Cause I'm tired. Aww. Scott's outfit of the day. I Not have three a... pairs of shoes because <laughs> mine aren't clunky and big. Not as stylish and well put <laughs> together, but he tried. <laughs> so we're waiting at the bus stop and the cool thing about Basel is if you stay in one of their hotels you get this free pass, Basel pass. for public tr transportation so we get to take the bus for free and we're going to take that to uh, within a two minute walk of the dock so mm. hopefully it works though. <laughs> so bus ride was successful we got off in five stops and now we're at the river which I'm assuming is the Rhine River and we either think that's our boat over there or it's one of those. <laughs> this is so gorgeous. Also, look at how beautiful these flowers are. I love it. We just came down the Dr. Seuss Crayola staircase. <laughs> and now we are at the water's edge. And I'm gonna start walking without coral. No, wait for me. Here's the ship that we're gonna be boarding and we know that because there's little Viking flags in red down there. And that is the company that is doing our little cruise. We dropped our luggage off and now we're going down into the ship because apparently there's a welcome brunch and then... You get your passport. Yes, and then at 1.30 there was like a walking tour of the city which we didn't know about so that will be cool to actually see where we stayed. Um, we just got let into our room and we had a little tour so now I wanted to show it. So this is like the bathroom as soon as you walk into the door. A little shower, cute, quaint, fun. And then... Like, I'm, my back is against the door right now, so you can kind of gauge how big this room is. Um, we're below deck, so that window right there is the water levels kind of right there. And then we got a bed, little nightstand, storage under the bed. That's like a mini fridge. There's like a safe for our passports. And yeah, a little TV. So cute, meets all the needs. So this is some little map of the ship on here. And this is our room all the way, oh, all the way at the end of the boat. Very last room <laughs> possible, so. Hopefully we can go up these stairs to get to the little welcome brunch that they have. This is the dining hall. There's a little welcome buffet over there. We are seated at a window spot. So, just spying on this swan, do its thing. 
we just had like the little welcome brunch and they had salads and soups and Reuben sandwiches and fruit and little desserts um, and pasta um, <laughs> and everything I ate was delicious. I had a salad and some pasta and then we met Gary and Amy. <laughs> we met two people who were really nice <laughs> and apparently they've been on five different biking um, trips before and they highly, highly recommend it. So now we came upstairs and Scott made himself a tea and I have cookies. Apparently there's cookies all day long along with free coffee and hot chocolate and tea so free is very loose term <laughs> we paid for it but this oatmeal raisin cookie right here honestly i think it's the best oatmeal raisin cookie i've ever had in my life what's this thing that's a gingerbread that one i did not like I but this cookie like it, was so good <laughs> so now we're just hanging out it is one o'clock right now and at 1 30 is the walking tour so we well gotta hang around yeah, we gotta get our little earbuds. Apparently there's, we'll listen to something on the tour. Not sure. I think it's so that when we're walking, I'm guessing that while we're walking, they can speak to us and we can hear what they're telling oh, us. It's gonna be like right. radios. Yeah, you're right. We're on our walking tour and I can hear the guy in the little earpiece. He's barbecuing in the park. <laughs> we're about to get on this bus to go to medieval Basel. So right now we are 100 feet above the river and we are also on top of the wall that we saw before. So the wall that is two millennia old. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear what the guy said, but it's Sunday, so therefore a lot of the places are closed. They're not open on Sundays. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Shut <laughs> We're inside the town hall right now. Apparently they still conduct <laughs> political business here. It also just happens to look super old and yeah, medieval looking. Fancy. So we finished up our walking tour. Our guided walking tour was really good, really informative. We got those little headsets where the guy was talking to us and we could always hear him regardless of where we were. Um, but now we went back to the ship did a little five minute rest and now we're back out again just the two of us we're gonna try to catch a bus to go see this museum of fine art and because we have basil passes from staying at a hotel last night it's 50 percent off at the museums should cost us about 20 bucks for the two of us to go to a museum like ten dollars each and then we just have to be back at the ship around like 6 30 i think for like a welcome message and briefing about safety <laughs> the only problem is nothing is in English. So we're kind of just looking at pictures. We don't know what they mean. It's so quiet. Sound the ship's oh, alarms snap. consists of seven short. We're doing a safety one drill. Long blast on the ship's alarms. <laughs> When you hear these alarms, please return to your state, put on your life jackets, and today proceed to the following muster stations. Guests in 100 corridor, please. <gasps> Is that us? That's us. Go to the outside of the restaurant. <laughs> the ship's alarms are about to go off during the drill. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Coral is going to say that there's the standard menu every night yeah. and then there's the regional specialties which has to do with where we're located. Yeah, it'll change every night. It's Monday, October 16th and we are in Germany. We docked here at like 3 in the morning and I'm very, very tired. <laughs> But we're on the bus right now. We're about to go to the Black Forest where we have like a little walking tour. So, yeah. Oh my god, these are so intricate. Yeah. Whoa, look at this one. Harley Davidson. Look at this. They're not all timed either. This entire room is full of cuckoo clocks. Apparently, we're in like the home of 
yeah. where they were spend, invented. You want to spend 1,685 euros? No. <laughs> These are insane. I can't get over them. Wait till they go. Oh, are they all going to go off at once? No, think? no. They're all oh, they're all times. at different people, times. People have set them all different times, I think, in order to hear them and demonstrate them. Oh, them. Look at this little baby. This one's also incredibly gorgeous. Like, our house isn't even as nice as this cuckoo clock. <laughs> Is it unless you're going to go into the black forest for life? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Is this a joke? <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to do this cake at home, make sure the sponge cake is not hard. Press the burger. Okay? Press carefully. Oh my god. Yeah. Half the bottle. We do not have a problem. <laughs> people will eat this cake and drink, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but there's no sugar in it. Oh, yeah. Wow. We just got done with our lunch. Um, it was delicious. Everything we had was good. And like every meal includes a starter, an entree, and a dessert. Um, Except and the, for breakfast. Right, breakfast doesn't have a dessert. It's just kind of like a buffet. Um, but what I wanted to say was that all the portions that they give us are always so mo like moderate. <laughs> those are, those are our <laughs> the plane airplane pillows they put here. <laughs> they styled them up for it. That's so cute. Um, but yeah, the portions are so small. Like I'll probably insert a picture, but it like. It doesn't feel like I'm sick to my stomach trying to finish all this food. Yeah. And then the dessert, we decided to share it. But it was so tiny that we ended up just eating like two bites each probably. While we've been on this trip, we have definitely been the youngest couple here. By yeah. far, like the median age is uh, up there. Um, <laughs> Everybody but, seems to have grandchildren. But pretty much every single meal it's in the dining hall and it's a sit down meal and the tables are seating like six to 10, 12 people at a time. So every time we sit down, there's always people joining us. Stories. Yeah, we've gotten to know like a decent amount of people so far. Everyone we've talked to has been amazing. Um, like I'm actually genuinely enjoying getting to know these people and hear their life stories. And um, like we've met so many people that we're trying to keep track of their names. So like we have a little notes app in Scott's phone where we're tracking like, oh, this is um, so and so and so and so. Yeah, and they're was, from here. What was Joan's husband's name? Um, we just woke up from a power nap. And we're gonna go hit the town again, but I wanted to show today's outfit. <laughs> it was freezing this morning, but now it's 60, so I'm just bringing a light jacket. Before we hit the town, Scott told me that they updated the cookie of the day to include these stroop waffles, so I'm gonna have to grab one. These are delicious also. Very impressed with the cookies. On the ship, they started having us scan in and out. Every time we decide we're leaving the ship or coming back in, we have a little card. That way they know like who's on the board, who's off, and the ship hopefully won't leave without us until we get back. We're out on the town, we're walking, and the goal is to get up there to go see this cathedral. We're walking up this steep hill, cobblestone walkway. Only slightly out of breath, but Stroop Waffle is powering me through. <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> I think one of the nice things about us doing this biking cruise is that when we're just walking around the town, we can see other people and recognize that they're also a part of the cruise because um, we're the only ones speaking English and also Viking gave us like little lanyards. So some of them have those on. 
So people will just be like, oh, are you on the Viking cruise? And be like, yeah, you too. And then we just get to chatting. So it makes us feel less alone. Like, I don't know, it's fun. It's a nice uh, wind vane up there. These are all te chestnut trees around this cathedral. So that's our ship over there. And we walked up from there. What do we get? Pretzel. <laughs> We're not sure if there's something inside this one. Oh part. no, this one's empty. Okay. The good. other one was cut open. It they just made looks it looks like weird. a cheesy sandwich. <laughs> Tastes like a pretzel? Mm, yes and no. no. Anyways, the castle's up there. And or it's actually a church, it's not really a castle. We went inside, but we, we said on the sign no photo and video, so we couldn't take any pictures. <laughs> but um other people might have done that. There might have been somebody who grabbed my phone and took pictures. He's implying that it might have been me and it was not. I need to make that clear. <laughs> it was well, not me. <laughs> Evening sunset. Over there is France. Over here where we are is Germany. Germany. Although technically we're on the river. It's Germany. That pronunciation. <laughs> we just got done with dinner and Scott brought... Ah! <laughs> um, Scott brought back the late night cookie, which I'm excited about. Oh, my key lime pie from the other night. Well, this table's a mess. Look at all my snacks that I brought. <laughs> Good morning. It's October 17th. I think it's a Tuesday. It's the third day on the boat. I'm exhausted. Scott and I are both exhausted. Um, the schedule they have us on is insane. Like dinner is kind of late and then every morning the walking tour starts early so for this one we have to be out there by 8 10 it leaves promptly so it's like 7 50 and i'm going out now to try to get breakfast we're in our room right now i figured i could show my outfit for the day it's supposed to be a high of 60 it's kind of warm out right now so i've got on like this little skirt and boots and jacket jacket type thing i don't know you may be asking yourself coral isn't this a bit much for a walking tour and i would say yes. <laughs> Scott would say yes, I would say no. I want to look cute in photos that we're going to take and have forever. <laughs> For this trip, I specifically planned every single outfit. So like each piece that I brought, I made sure would work with multiple outfits. So like these boots I'll wear with a couple outfits. This skirt goes with a couple outfits. This jacket goes with a couple outfits. So that way I can maximize what I pack into my single suitcase. Every morning there's a breakfast buffet to choose from. Um, this is what I grabbed this morning because I really only have like 10 minutes to eat, but... 8 10 sharp and we are doing like a 10 minute walk to get to the shuttle that's gonna take us to the town which i think is across the bridge across the river because we're in germany we're in germany right now the other side is france where we're supposed to have our little scenic tour we made it to the bus it was like about a 10 minute walk this is our tour guide for the day and our bus driver so we're in group a which was just automatically assigned we are in petite france right now It's freezing though, it's like 40 degrees. Something smells really good here. That's our tour group. Sorry if my camera work is a little shaky. We've got these cobblestone walkways the entire city. These are all the love locks that are on the bridge. And our guide just joked about how half these couples have probably already separated. But they are really cute. Look at my handsome husband up there. He's following the rules, staying with the group. And I'm lagging behind, taking photos. The teach friend. It's so pretty. Look at that. That's a restaurant apparently with all the flowers and vines. Now we're walking right along this edge where one wrong step and you're in this ice cold water. St. Thomas Church apparently. He got a nice church. This is a bakery. It's so hard to tell but those are huge loaves. Oh my god, look at all the breads. Wow. Oh my gosh, look in there. We're on the tour so we can't stop but I really want to go in there. <laughs> I want that. Oh my god. We're waiting in line now to go into the church. Cathedral. Cathedral, sorry. <laughs> he called them church.
our tour guide just explained this is the astronomical clock. This mechanical clock, originally from the 1500, knows exactly how to calculate when is going to be Easter, Pentecost, and so on, and so forth next year. So on the night, on the 31st of December to the 1st of January, it's going to make. There is going to be a calculation made automatically, uh, mechanically, which is showing us then which date is going to be Easter, and they're going to, the black dates are going to move slightly to show us the time for Easter, Pentecost, and so forth. We just got out of the Notre Dame. That's a very American way to say it. I can't pronounce it right. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. And now we have some time to kill where they let us explore the city and we just have to be back to the shuttle. There's like certain times where it's we back. We're going to explore the city, see what we find. Scott has maybe a cold of some sort. He's not feeling the best, so we're going to take it easy. We stopped and I got myself a little hot chocolate. Bless you. We have a brioche with cinnamon. We also got the world's tiniest little cookie with our drinks. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> We made it to a lunch restaurant, and this is the menu. A little limited and all in French. We had to do some translations, but I think we're gonna get something good. We got our chicken, we got our french fries, and then Scott's got his <laughs> portable <laughs> Heinz. I was prepared. I wasn't paying the 75 cent euro. <laughs> He pulled that out when we were walking around earlier and I was like, oh, I didn't know you were packing. <laughs> we just got out of that French restaurant and uh, no one spoke English, which was kind of a treat actually. Yeah, I mean, he knew a little bit. Yeah, like one or two words, but um, we had to like translate things on our phone and then attempt to speak them. But everyone else in the restaurant was speaking French, which was enjoyable. I liked hearing it, beautiful language. And um, we got the chicken cordon bleu. It was amazing. Like, I didn't think I was gonna like it because I don't like ham, but it's and incredible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the cheese, but so good. So now we're gonna try to find a pastry shop to get some dessert. We stopped at a little bakery, and um, I got two things. I got a chocolate brownie and a cake pop that's um, hazelnut. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, I'm nice. not gonna eat it now. I'll, All right. it, I'll eat it on the bus ride. All right. Look how handsome, this little Frenchman. <laughs> they requested the check in French and I was like, okay, bilingual. <laughs> yeah, that, that one little bit of uh, French class from high school you remember. <laughs> We're waiting outside the Notre Dame because the bus leaves in 10 minutes and that's like the meeting point. But I really want to dig into the pastries that I got. Do you want any? Have a taste of the cake. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> That's dense. Oh my. Mm. It's a little brownie. It's a little brownie. Although it's very squishy. 155. It's not a brownie. That's pretty moosey. Moosey? Moosey brownie? I got a bunch of gifts for people, mostly like food and chocolates and pastries, but I wanted to show. I bought two of these for the cats as <laughs> little souvenir toys for them. I'm gonna cut off this uh, metal part because it's obviously keychain, but yeah, I get them a little something something. We're back on the shuttle. We had like a 15 minute walk from the meeting place to the shuttle and my feet are killing me. I feel like I wish I can give us a little more information about how much walking. They did. They only said like easy, moderate, and hard. Yeah, that was easy. Every day there's a free um, excursion included. It happens in the morning for like four hours. So usually it's a walking tour. Yeah. Um, the first day in Basel was a walking tour and that was like moderate walking. And then yesterday we did the Black Forest and there was pretty much no walking. So that would have been the perfect day for these boots. But today was like heavy walking. My feet are killing me. I think I'm gonna start packing uh, regular shoes in my backpack for days like today. Scott's trying to show he got 10,000, oh, 11,200 steps. Wow. Making our way downtown, walking fast. My hurt feet hurt, and we're ship bound. <laughs> Almost back to the ship. It's just about three o'clock. We might just take a little power nap and then maybe go back out and see the town. We're in a German town called Kiel. 
K-E-H-L. I don't know what there is to do here, but it might be worth checking out. I was gonna say, maybe heal sometime. I don't get it. Kill sometime? I don't think that was that funny. I don't think it was worth me turning this on for. Oh my god. <laughs> nice. I left Scott in the room to take a nap because I think he has like a little bit of a cold going on, so I'm going by myself to the lounge because there's supposed to be some sort of like food demonstration at four o'clock and I also want to check out the cookie of the day. Oh. <laughs> Lamb meaning plain, kuchen, two, two meanings in German, cake and pie. So just to make sure that I explain it properly to you how it translates into English, I asked my good friend of mine, I think you know him very well, Mr. Google. <laughs> yes, I asked Mr. Google to translate the word plum cooking and the result shows plum baked pie. Finished product. Today is an early cast off, so it's only 6.20 right now. We just looked out our stateroom window and we are moving. But I couldn't even feel it just sitting on the bed. It was so like unexpected. We have about 20 minutes until dinner, but I'm going to come up to the rooftop and film a little bit of our sailing journey. It's quite cold out here, quite windy, and we're also moving quite fast. I don't know if you could tell. So every evening we get a little itinerary for the following days. So this is tomorrow, Wednesday the 18th, and it's kind of like uh, anticipation, waiting to find out what time we have to wake up in the morning. And once again, we have another 8.30 a.m. sharp, like leave time for the excursion, which is awful. It means we gotta get up at like seven something to get breakfast in time. Like some people actually get up for the 6 a.m. breakfast. It's crazy. Tonight is a German buffet theme. Look at how they decorate the tables with the little pretzels and the placemat and the cheese. And there's wine over there. They offered us little beers when we came in, but Scott and I didn't take any. And then these are the desserts, which I'm dying to dig into. <laughs> We decided to eat in the room because we're not up for the socialization tonight and also dinner just takes really long sometimes in, in the dining room. Yeah, that's Spetzel. I didn't even really film my meal because I was hungry, but then we got one of each dessert. I put this one at number one. That one was the best one for me. I know you're not going to agree with all these. That was number two. It just tasted like regular cake. Poppy was third. These two were absolutely horrible. I think that one was worse, but this one was disgusting. <laughs> we're in a lock. Or we're going into one. No, we're in one. <laughs> we're in one. We're in it. You can't really see because of the reflection. Hold on. Let me flip the light off with my foot. <gasps> oh, that's you see? Worse, no, it's better. I can still see you though. But that's like concrete or something right outside our window. We're like probably five inches away from it. All right, so we came up to see what the lock looked like. This is on the side of the ship where our room is not. We are on the other side. So there's a lot of room on this side where... I don't know why he parked so close on that side. Hey! <laughs> Let's go check out the other side. The captain's over there checking things out, making sure we're not hitting anything. Wow, that is really, really close. Oh, we're going down. <gasps> we are going down! Yeah, we're going down. We're sinking. I don't know if you could tell. They have this, what is this, shuffleboard? Shuffleboard and... and... They have shuffleboard up here, and they also have a little putting green and for... Herb garden. Yeah, and also this is the herb garden in the center, so oh, things to do. We're in between our tea and cookie run, waiting for this lock to open, and now the door is finally lifting. Now we're under it. Yeah. Scott went under it the other night, but um, the door drips, you know, when you go under it, so I wanted to be under this overhang just so my camera didn't get wet. Most of the water comes out of it by the time you get it. So it's just little drips. Mm, and you say that a, now, but... And then there's a concrete concrete uh, arch just past. The ship is moving ever so slowly. And we're on the top sun deck. Gonna go through the raining doors. <laughs> I don't know what I'm singing. It's okay. It makes it fun when you sing. They're a little out of focus. There you go. Well, we're gonna focus over this way. I know. I'm nervous. 
We're getting closer and it's still raining. Scott told me to just stand in between <laughs> some of the water, but I don't know. I can't gauge it. Oh, Last crap. <laughs> I'm scared. Look up above though. Oh my God, it's coming down hard. Oh, oh God. Who's the under set? Wow. I think I already showed this tea and coffee station, but. Yeah, you did. You just really obsessed with it. I know, it's so fun. Scott's making a tea, and then I'm here for the late night treat. I'm about to have chocolate. No. I don't know what. Whoa. 